What on earth is an NFT? An NFT, it stands for non-fungible token. And already people would be like, what? <laughs> what is that? That's me. Yeah, I think it's most people, even the people who are involved in this space, to be honest. So an, an NFT is a digital asset that lives on the blockchain and can't be reproduced. And I'll, I'll get into in a second why that's not really... How do I say that in layman's terms? Absolutely, absolutely. So if you think about digital assets that you understand, you know what an MP3 is, you know what an MP4 is, you know what a JPEG is. These are all things we use in our everyday lives. They're digital assets, they're digital goods. And we realise that we can copy these as many times as we want. You can take a JPEG, you can copy it to infinity, you can send it to all your friends, and uh, it's very easy to copy these digital items. Well, we've figured out how to create a digital item that can't be reproduced. And it uses blockchain technology as the underpinnings of this. You can think of this as having a piece of artwork and you can prove that you're the owner of it and you can prove that no one else in the world owns this, right? So it's, um, I mean, I, so here's the thing. I think that the NFT world right now is a house of cards. I think that this idea of non-fungibility in the NFT world is rubbish if you look under the hood. So although I'm saying NFTs can't be reproduced, I actually don't think that that is the reality of the NFT world that we're seeing right now. I mean, a house of cards falls apart. That's what you think is going to happen here. Absolutely. So the thing with NFTs is that people hear blockchain and they think Bitcoin. Right? They think something that's uncensorable and permanent on the blockchain forever. That's not what we're dealing with here. People think that they're getting these images and they don't realise what they're getting is a bunch of gobbledygook on a blockchain that, you know, they, they're going to have trouble verifying it and figuring it out. But that being said, I don't want to seem too down on the world of NFTs. I think that we live in a digital world. It is the digital age, and I think our future is digital goods. I feel like we are going to have a future where everything is going to be a non-fungible token. You're going to go to a concert, and instead of getting a ticket, you're going to get a non-fungible token. It's going to be a collectible, right? Uh, instead of buying an album, you'll buy an NFT, right? I think this is the future because our digital world is evolving, and this is the next step, scarcity in the digital world. Uh, I don't think we're there yet. I don't think the tech is there yet and I don't think the majority of people who are entering this space really understand what this space is right now. So you're very bullish on cryptocurrency but at the moment you feel like the NFT is the wild west. I think the NFT space is the wild west. Some really exciting things that I like about the NFT space, because it's like programmable art, right? There are lots of potential. Uh, there's a lot of potential for that. So for example, I love the idea that you can tie the creator of an artwork to the non-fungible token itself, so that every time that token gets transferred to someone else, the artist receives a percentage of the earnings. I think that that's wonderful. Um, another thing that I think is really exciting about the NFT world is that you can have programmable art. You might have art on your wall that, uh, you know, is linked to someone else's artwork and all of that is possible with NFTs and it exists. So I love that and I think we're further exploring the boundaries of art and exploring the boundaries of our digital world. Um, I'm excited to see what happens. I think we have a long way to go <laughs> before we get like a robust ecosystem though. You're a bit hesitant about NFTs at the moment. I'm a bit hesitant about NFTs because you see everyone diving in and I know that these people don't understand what they're getting involved with. So anytime people are diving into something and it's really complicated and I feel that they haven't done their research, it gives me pause. There are a lot of things that people don't understand about NFTs. There's a lot of complications to do with blockchain technology and a lot of subtleties. People hear buzzwords and they hear blockchain and they hear uncensorable and they dive in and they don't quite understand the fragility of the system as it exists right now. We're at the very early stages of NFTs. We're trying to figure out how to create digital goods in this digital world. And there are a lot of mistakes being made and a lot of people aren't aware of these mistakes. What we've got today are things that you haven't got any hash on the blockchain, you haven't got any verification on the blockchain that this is unique. And so people can create as many copies as they want. I think people should take a step back and maybe not take that plunge uh, unless they actually understand what they're getting with their NFT. Hello, I'm Sarah Arbo. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. 
And don't miss out on our Extra Minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on 9now.com.au and the 9now app.